meta-analysis for a binary outcome based on an effect size which is risk ratio in stata and generating a forest plot and a funnel plot a binary outcome is a variable or a data that have two levels in it or two categories an example is the status of live or life or dead um, does have a disease or doesn't have the disease uh, smoking is not smoking so the data are in only two levels so it is binary or binomial and uh, sometimes it's also called dichotomous and the risk ratio is the ratio of the probability of an event occurring in a intervention or treatment or exposure group compared to the probability of the same event happening in a control or an exposed or reference group so what is meta-analysis meta-analysis is a statistical method that combines the data extracted from several independent research or clinical studies that addresses the same scientific or medical question the objective of performing meta-analysis is to generate an overall estimate of the effect size for specific intervention or exposure uh, by pulling these data from several independent research uh, clinical studies meta-analysis method will also measures and assess the level or degree of variability or inconsistency in the results by performing a heterogeneity test that will examine and test the degree of variation in the result from uh, extracted multiple studies the um, heterogeneity uh, is measured in percentage and an i squared value is generated an i squared value of zero uh, indicates uh, uh, no heterogeneity among the results and a hundred percent i square with a value of a hundred percent suggest uh, a maximum heterogeneity meta-analysis also will generate a forest plot so what is a forest plot a forest plot is just a graph that displays the summary of uh, the summary of the outcome of the meta-analysis so it will include in it uh, the uh, estimate of the effect size the pooled estimates of the effect size the p-value the 95 percent confidence interval and the weighted percentage the plot is made up of three sections the first section is a descriptive statistics that displays the uh, sample size the event uh, uh, the p-value the estimate effect size the 95 percent confidence interval and the weight percentage and a second section which is a diagrammatic representation that reflects the descriptive statistics and a third part or section that shows the overall estimate effect size in our case is the risk ratio and the i squared and the p value uh, also another plot that is generated uh, from meta-analysis is the funnel plot a funnel plot is a, a scatter plot that displays on the x-axis the estimate of the effect size which is the risk ratio and on the y-axis is the standard uh, error or sample size the objective of drawing the funnel plot is to look for publication bias 
here in this stata view i had inserted 12 studies data extracted from 12 independent studies that addresses the same scientific medical or clinical question the each study was designed to have two groups participant were allocated either to the exposed group or to the reference group which is the control group so the exposed is treatment and the uh, control is the reference group and the uh, number of events occurring in the um, exposed group is uh, reported and scored and inserted here and the total number for participant in that group of exposure is also uh, inserted and all, uh, uh, number of uh, uh, no event occurring in uh, the exposed group is also recorded so the number of event occurring in uh, the uh, uh, exposed group is recorded and the number of event occurring or happening in the control group is also uh, recorded and the total number uh, for each participant in each group is also given here since the outcome here is binary as there is only an event happening or an event not happening so there are only two levels yes or no then uh, meta analysis for a binary outcome will be performed and the estimate effect size that will be generated here or calculated is the risk ratio and the way to do that in uh, stata is to um, back again to the section command here and then click on the statistics scroll down to the section or the options that says meta analysis click on the meta analysis option or stats and a new window will appear as shown here this is the control panel this is the window to um, perform and select and enter the data required to perform meta analysis and to perform the meta analysis first we have to declare uh, the data here uh, in this setup and to choose the right and appropriate uh, effect size based on the outcome since the outcome is binary then select the uh, for the setup compute and declare effect sizes for two group comparison of a binary outcome in our case will be the risk ratio and for the main here for the first group which is the intervention group or the treatment and for the second group we need to fill these empty uh, areas so the number of success which is the number of event happening which is the t event number of failure is the number of no event happening in the first group which is the treatment group for the second group which is the control group number of success happening uh, is the control uh, event and number of failure is uh, control no event happening so here two groups event occurring no events uh, for the intervention or treatment or exposure and for the reference the same event happening event not happening for the specific effect size there are several options and uh, we are going to use here the log risk ratio as we are going to use this effect size if we click on a model i'm going to select here the random model and for the method there are several method but we'll stick with the restricted maximum likelihood method click on options no selection in this part 
and if we click on submit we'll notice that the data is declared for meta analysis and there are as shown here in the summary 12 studies uh, meta analysis will be performed the data or the variables are the first group which is the intervention event no event control event no event and the um, effect size is the log risk ratio and 95 percent confidence interval will be calculated and the model used which is a random effect or effects model and the method is reml uh, if we click on the next uh, option here or selection again summarize the meta analysis data click on the random effect model use the if random effect models in the options no changes in the maximization no changes and then click on submit and as shown here in the submit option a meta analysis summary is generated with an i squared given here in a percentage which is 21.28 percentage uh, and a random effect model and a method given and each for each study a uh, risk ratio is calculated with a 95 percent confidence interval and a percentage of a weight and the percentage of a weight indicates or reflect the size of the um, sample so a larger sample will have larger weight and that will be will have an influence in the meta analysis calculations and as shown here a heterogeneity test is performed based in the uh, q statistics which is based on the chi square and a p-value is generated which is greater than 0.05 back again to the window here to generate a forest plot again click on the forest plot and then click on random effects and for uh, other options no selection will be taken uh, click on options here no selection for maximization no selection for forest plot what i'm going to select here is the plot options and i'm going to tick for the draw over all uh, effect sized line and then click on the line option and then let's give it a um, blue color if we select the pattern we'll go for dashed and click on accept and for draw no line of uh, no effect line click on options click line options make it uh, let's say red and this is the red and make it dashed and then click on accept click on ok click on ok again and click on submit and that will uh, generate uh, a forest plot as shown here in this forest plot there are three sections the first section is the descriptive statistics the second one is the diagrammatic representation and the third one is the overall uh, heterogeneity um, test and also overall estimate of the effect size as shown here the studies are numbered from 1 to 12 and there are two groups here for each study intervention and control yes for event no for event not happening for both groups and here on the right hand side the risk ratio has been calculated for each individual study and a 95 percent confidence interval is also produced and a weight percentage is given for each individual study the diagrammatic presentation here in the middle is a reflection of the descriptive data the squares here represent the effect size which is the risk ratio for each individual study higher or larger squares reflects larger weight percentage or larger sample size 
the horizontal line here represent the 95% confidence interval lower and upper limits. The blue line here represent the overall effect size, which is the overall calculated risk ratio. In our case here, it is 0.85. And the red dashed line here represent the line of no effect. So this is the diagrammatic representation. The third section in the forest plot shows that overall uh, estimate of the effect size risk ratio, which is 0.85 with a 95% confidence interval. Heterogeneity test with an I squared value generated and a P value. And as shown here, there are 21.2 percentage uh, variation among the results here. And we need the p-value here to be higher than 0.05. So there is low level of heterogeneity among the results from all these 12 studies. The last section here shows that the p-value is less than 0.05 which means that the risk ratio or the overall, overall or pooled uh, risk ratio is significant. So from this meta-analysis forest plot, a conclusion can be drawn about the overall risk ratio uh, for these several studies that answering a specific medical question. From the meta-analysis also, a funnel plot can be generated. Back again to the section here to fill. If we click on the heterogeneity, no selection will be considered. For regression, no selection, but for publication bias, I'm going to select uh, a plot drawing which is the final plot to check for publication bias there are several options we'll select the first one and uh, no selection for the models or the model no selection for the options for the model in fact i'm going to stick with the random effect uh, for options no selection for graph options i will not perform any changes here and if we click on submit a plot is generated in the shape of a funnel on the x-axis is the uh, risk ratio or the log risk ratio and the, on the y-axis is the standard error and the red line in the middle is uh, the pooled overall risk ratio which was 0.85 and circles here represent each individual risk ratio for each individual studies. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight studies on the right hand side and four and three studies on the left hand side of the red line and one outside the funnel. For publication uh, bias, for no, for lack of publication bias, the distribution of the um, um, risk ratio should be equal on both sides of the uh, line. So uh, there should be same number of uh, risk ratio studies, studies with risk ratio above the line and below the line. And here we have eight above the line and three below it and one outside the funnel. So this indicate there is publication bias. Further test is required uh, to uh, validate this observation, which is the Eagles regression test. So this is the way to perform meta-analysis for a binary outcome based on a risk ratio in STATA to generate a forest plot and a funnel plot.